Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and today I want to do something a little bit different, and that is going over one of my gameplays, but not for myself, but for the other team to show mistakes. So you see me coming up from the jungle on this Grux, or not this Grux, this Grim, I'm Grux, and uh, I get a little bit greedy, and I go under tower. Now, that's not really a mistake on his part, I just went ham bone, but... You know, you really want to wait, you know, and farm underneath your tower. And a lot of people just don't do that. And a lot of these kills in this game are just going to be me, you know, ganking people that are pushed too far up. You know, they shouldn't be where they're at. Once again, this Grim is just playing way too aggressive. And you're going to see this a lot in this video where the Grim is just out maneuvered, out played, out whatever. He got me off of him, but uh, me and Sparrow are going to clean it up, and I think Sparrow actually gets the kill, so GG to her, but that's another, you know, gank in the middle of the map where he's pushed up super far when he shouldn't be, and it's very early in the game. All these kills that I'm showing uh, are in chronological order, but uh, a lot of them were very early, as you can see by my player level. Now, I see right here Sparrow and Greystone, and uh, I know I got an Iggy on this side, so I'm gonna go in on the carry, which is Sparrow first, and try to take her out as fast as I can, because I don't really wanna deal with Greystone. And uh, I'm gonna try to get out of there, because apparently nobody wanted to come help me. Uh, Iggy ran away, but this Sparrow comes over and rotates and helps me out, and I get out safely, and there goes Iggy going for it. And uh, yeah, so we get out of that, but that's another one of those things where you just, you know, you lock on to who you wanna kill, I see Sparrow pushed up again, super easy gank. I'm just gonna waltz up behind her, start laughing, and uh, just take her out. And I got Muriel there with me too, she can give me the heals if I need them. But by this point, I'm so fed anyways. I finished this game like 13 and two, or 15 and two, or 15 and one, or 13 and one, something like that. And uh, I was just, I was absolutely a monster. So here we are in the middle of the map again. You see uh, Grim just chilling, relaxing. I notice that he's not really gonna retreat even though uh, I do have my grab and he's just, I'm not sure what he's doing or where he's going, but you need to be aware of your surroundings and this probably could be because he didn't have wards or uh, a support. I don't know why he was in the middle lane anyways. It just, this team did not seem very coordinated, but uh, they weren't really helping each other either. So that, that's kind of their own fault. And this is another one of those plays where I kind of get greedy. I see that Sparrow's under tower. I try to block her. I stun her. And uh, I try to go in for that kill. She ults again. Doesn't really get it. I really wanted to take these towers super early just to give us some more breathing room. And uh, you'll see me go in right there and take that tower out. But that's one of the uh, the plus sides of playing Grux. Grux is a very good character right now. If not one of the best top tier heroes in the game. And you see, we go up against this steel and just start melting him with double pain double pain is so good such a good uh ability but if you see like people like what is this guy doing grim walking around with your big your big thing opened up and he doesn't really do that much damage to me because once again i'm just out leveling out feeding everybody on our team and their team and you see me jump down in the jungle and I actually go for the grab because i really wanted to kill him again and uh, he didn't come down with me, but I'm pretty sure Sparrow cleans it up. Very nice. Me and Sparrow were uh, were tag teaming people the entire match, so good job to that Sparrow. She knows what she was doing. All right, right here you see uh, Steel misses his ult, which is awesome for me because I would have had a chunk of health taken away. And against him and Murdoch, I, I can't afford to lose more health than you know what what I can. Like I, I don't want to lose any of my health, but this is where I get aggressive, they start backing up, I bring him in. Murdoch gets taken out by Muriel. I see Steel, we start going in. Once again, I'm super greedy, just going under the tower and get another kill. All right, right here you see Grim hiding under tower. He's not really pushing me or anything. I throw down some wards. He's still not back far enough, and that, that's one of the, if you play against a Grux, you need to make sure you are out of the range of his pool, or else you're just going to get eaten alive, just like that Grim does. I, I, how many times have we watched this game and seen me just grab people, bring them back, get them, chop them up, eat them up, get fed, and go about my business like it doesn't even matter? I'm pretty sure this great, yep, this Greystone, he wants some of it too, that's fine. 
but uh, as you can see, he, he tries to get out. But we're gonna take this tower, and that's all that matters. Until the tower actually focuses on me. Rip the dream. All right, once again, I see these uh, Sparrow and Grim pushed up. I have no help on this side, but I am so confident in my abilities to just go in and annihilate two carries that have not been fed the entire game and just go to town. It's it's not even fair. Not even fair. And once again, they didn't have any wards. I can't, you know, begin to explain how important wards are, especially if you're, you know, solo queuing. You need wards to keep yourself alive. It's not, it, it's going to help your team, but it's mostly for you because a lot of people aren't going to ping that you're about to get annihilated. By other players and i see this sparrow running through the jungle she is completely unaware that i'm here there's a huge team fight going on on left and i want to take her out before she can even get there so when i get there i don't have to worry about you know another carry you know pestering me from afar so i started to make the move all the way up here to this team fight now i don't get a quad or anything right here i'll go ahead and say that but i'm able to help control the engagement from my team I was scared because I didn't think they were going to go in, and then I was kind of like, you know what, F it. Maybe if I start it, uh, they'll, they'll come and follow, and they did. So we start taking people out. We get rid of that Murdoch, um, and yeah, we just go to town. I tried to initiate the best I could. Muriel ults on me because she is a bay, and as you guys can tell, we absolutely ran through this team. It was not fair. I was, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure that it was forfeited, and we were... I, I don't even think we were 30 minutes in, to be honest. I, I could have easily kept going. I would have gotten at least 20 kills. I'm pretty sure when it ended, it was 13-1. and one. I'm pretty sure that's what I finished. And that one death was because I was super aggressive. And I'm pretty sure this is it right here. Maybe. But, yeah, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I just wanted to show you how you can make mistakes. Uh, not, not to say that I'm the best player, but the other team was making a lot of mistakes. And this is a mistake I made by just standing here and just trying to chop people up. But... You need to be aware. That's the most important thing. Be aware. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.